Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to describe how to upgrade Real Virtual 2021 projects to Unity and Real Virtual 2022. First of all, everything what we are doing now is described in our documentation. So please check our documentation page if you prefer in following the documentation instead of this video. First of all, you should make sure that you've got installed Unity 2022.3 and something. So best is to install the latest Unity long-term stable release. It's already installed here, as you can see in my Unity Hub. Next, after you made sure that you have installed uh, the Unity 2022, you should take your existing project, so here my tutorial project, and uh, choose the 22 version for opening it. You will be asked to change the editor version. Yes, I'm okay with it. And now you will get this match message, uh, but you can continue. Unity is now going to open the old 2021 base project with 2022. This takes some time, but after some time you will get this error message because there is a kind of compile error within the project because you opened it with a new release. You can just ignore this uh, error message. So push ignore. After some more time, you should have the Unity project opened. You might have some error messages. Uh, just You should just don't care about them. So far, you've got still the old uh, real virtual game for automation version in your project. And we need now to replace this uh, against the new real virtual 2022. For not losing the references, we just via assets import package, custom package, or via the asset store, if you purchased over the asset store, or what I do, I just drag and drop it in here, the update to 2022, you just import the new real virtual version. This again takes some time for reading the package. And after some time, you will get this import message showing you everything what's going to be replaced. And you should just click here on import without changing anything. This is now importing the new real virtual 2022 on top of the old real virtual 2021. You will get this old message. You don't need to take care about it and that's because uh, there are still errors in it and he didn't compile uh, already the new version so you just should close it. Okay, now it's closed. So everything uh, looks still looks like before. Um, because everything is under the folder game for automation. But if I type in real virtual, you see that there's already a lot of new real virtual stuff in. So we are now having in here some kind of, I would say, mixture between the old and the new version. And that's why we do now something maybe a little bit strange. Um, but what I do first is just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to our um, scenes folder and let's take the demo scene, demo game for automation. You see, we also have the demo real virtual, so the new demo scene in here. I'm just uh, moving my demo scene out here. So it's now here. So just for simulating the case that you've got existing scenes in an existing project and you would like to update them. 
Next step, what you now need to do is to delete the full game for automation folder for getting rid of all the old stuff. So I'm just deleting it. You see now in our demo scene, now a lot of references are, are lost. And next step, that sounds maybe a little bit strange. We are going to import back again the package. I'm just dragging and dropping it in here again. So the new we virtual professional 2022, I'm importing it back again. This again takes some time. You now have a lot of stuff new and I'm pressing on import again. You might get an error here. It's okay, you just quit. And Unity is closing. So just close it. I open it once again, the project. After you now imported the project again, you might still have some error messages in here if you are having custom scripts. If you're having custom scripts, uh, just uh, we take a look into the documentation, you will get error messages because the namespaces uh, changed. So um, you need to change the namespace against real virtual or also the using statements in your custom code against uh, real virtual. So after you do, did that, if you had still some errors, what's very important you should push here on apply standard settings. Okay. And in the layers, you will now see the new real virtual layers and maybe still some old game for automation layers. You can edit the layers. You don't need the old uh, game for automation layers anymore. So just delete them. And that's it. And under real virtual, under scenes, you should have the new demo or you can open it by real virtual open demo scene. Because there are no compile errors. You see everything is now called real virtual. You are ready to run the demo scene. Here it is. And let's check what happened with our other scene. So our old demo scene we copied just as an example for a custom scene. Let's see what's happening. I'm pretty sure that it's not going to run or maybe it's going to run. Yeah, it's not running. You might see here uh, that the blue box is missing or it's falling down. And that's because we are having new layer names, everything called uh, real virtual or RV in the beginning. So we need to upgrade the scene to the new setup. And you also get one error message here, um, the console log. And for this, we are having a small tool, which is doing most stuff in existing scenes. So if you would like to upgrade your existing scenes, this upgrade scene to 2022, this should change all the layers uh, of the colliders and sensors to the new real virtual standard. So I'm selecting here while having the scene opened. Uh, update scene to 2022. There's a warning. Yes. And now if I write, I'm putting this here. And now also our demo scene is running. There might be very special cases in your custom scenes with colliders where you need to check if you are using the colliders which are standard real virtual colliders. That's all about updating your existing installation or your existing projects from 2021 to 2022. 
you should just follow this uh, advices here in this tutorial if you really need to upgrade an existing project because you need the new functions in real virtual 2022 if you don't need this uh, my advice would be always stay on the existing release and just start your new projects with the new real virtual 2022 thanks a lot for today and see you or hear you next time bye bye